So today I'm going to talk about uh, Sensum, um, a research project on um, how to use sensing technology to monitor boulders you know, on landslides or woody debris in river catchment. And um, the PI of this project uh, is Georgie Bennett at the university, from the University of Exeter and Lee Coyar Irene Manzella, now at the University of Twente, formerly at the University of Plymouth, and Aldina Franco uh, at the University of East Anglia. I'm just a postdoc, but anyway. And this project um, was possible thanks to a collaboration with uh, a, wide, a wide number of different uh, academic and non-academic institutions, as you see in this uh, slide. And um, the recent advances, advances in technologies and microelectronics uh, offered new opportunities to use, um, to, 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 to study the stability of boulders on landslides and woody debris in river catchments. And um, smart sensors are small, lightweight, and cheap devices that um, allow us to do this. So we use the, um, the motion smart sensor that um, were originally conceived to track uh, the movements of birds. And we install these sensors in boulders, uh, in one landslide, or a large wood as uh, loose pieces in uh, um, river catchment or as part of nature-based solutions, uh, such as large woody debris dams that are used to mitigate um, uh, flood, uh, flood hazards. Um, yeah, your slides are moving. Let's just move it to the next slide now. Yeah. I have no control. There we go. Next one. Okay. Good. So, uh, Sensum has uh, organized in different uh, parts. So, we have field experiments. We install these sensors in different uh, landslide sites in the UK, in and the south of France and in Nepal. And we did the same also for some um, um, river sites, uh, mainly in the UK, in Dartmoor, in Cambria, and the north of, um, of Wales. And then we tested this technology also in uh, laboratory experiments. We wanted to understand uh, how reliable were these sensors and how to use these sensors to study the movements. And the data collected from the lab laboratory experiments from the field experiments were used to create a larger data set that um, was investigated using the machine learning algorithms. And then the last part of Sensum was to design was to design visualizations, physically based visualization and game design visualizations to improve our communications on landslides and flood hazards. And also on this last uh, part, uh, for this last part, uh, we had also to develop a web interface to see um, the data coming through, um, the data collected from the sensor coming, coming through, and um, to see if it was possible to use this data as a foundation of some sort of early warning system. So this is just an example of the sensors that were installed in Lyme Regis. So we had a uh, concrete we have multiple concrete cubes, and we installed the sensor in a borehole, and then the borehole was um, closed with uh, resin. And then, the, when there was uh, when the movement was detected, the sensor was able to send the data to a gateway that was installed in Charmouth. And then, from the gateway, the data was sent to a cloud, and we were able to download the data from from the cloud. These are just some of the results that were corrected recently. Uh, the sensor was were, were able to detect movements, even even large movements of 10 meters. And thanks to the different sensors, we were able to understand when the uh, cube um, was embedded in the whether the whether the cube remained embedded or not in the landslides during this movement. Then. The same sensor were installed in cobbles in very small um, streams, and the three sensors, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the magnetometer, allowed to understand when there was uh, uh, 
when there was a different mode of movement, so when when the there was a basically the threshold between sliding and rolling, and this was something this is something important for sediment transport. And uh, then we also um, tested these sensors, of course, in, in, in the lab. We combined the sensors together in the lab, and thanks to, this, to, to that, we were able to, to give a, a, a full representation of, of the movement and um, to compute a metric to understand, in this, case, in this case, the total kinetic energy, to understand when the cobble was rolling and when the cobble was simply simply sliding. In another set of experiments, we uh, design, a, design a, a large uh, um, laboratory analog of our uh, large woody debris dams, and we use the sensor to study the vibration of the dam, and we try to um, characterize this vibration to see if there was any connection with the constraints, with the lateral constraints of, of, of the dam. And then, um, by combining the sensors, the output from the sensor, we're able to give also a full uh, motion representation of um, um, a woody dowel traveling along the flume. And this was important to, to, to understand the transport of woody debris in, in, uh, in streams. Um, thanks to, to the collaboration with uh, the University of Manchester, specifically with Eda Maitan, Ben Rogers, and Georges Furtakas, we were able to use um, uh, a numerical model, an SPH model, dual physics, uh, to validate the experimental, the experimental results, especially those um, we got from, from the lab. So um, we compared the experimental results and the numerical results, and the um, the behavior, the average behavior, the average experimental behavior behavior was matched by the the numerical by numerical simulations. On the other hand, we used the numerical simulation also to create nice visualizations, as here you see the collapse of a large woody debris dam, and that woody debris dam was uh, generated uh, using uh, a, th a 3D photogra photogrammatic rendering, and the pictures are taken from uh, um, a site in Cambria, from T-Bay catchment. The um, physical-based visualizations were also combined to other visualizations developed using a game design software. This was possible thanks to a collaboration with the College of Art, at the University of, of Plymouth. And um, the idea is to try to combine these two visualizations together, the physical base ones and the fictitious ones, uh, for a final event, um, a workshop that is going to be at the beginning of December. And we are going to use the Immersion Vision Theater, so the dome, to, to uh, to use these 3D visualizations and to make the content of of the um, of the project more accessible to the audience, and this is all the people involved in the project. And this is it. Thank you, Alison.